We're here, everybody, in the Millennium Falcon, right here at Disneyland Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And joining me today is show mechanical engineer Victoria Thomas. What is with this thing? This thing is so lifelike. Can you describe what fans are going to see? So fans are going to be absolutely overwhelmed by the detail of what's going on here. Featured in this spectacular hunk of junk. It sounds like it's a little rusty for wear. Yeah. Um, guests will have the opportunity to pilot the Falcon. Uh, and while some pilots are proficient in flying, some are subpar. And the ship might sustain damage as a result. As such, uh, gunners and engineers in the flight crew will need to work together to try and repair the damage to have a successful flight. I want to thank one of the flight crew right now. They just helped us get this thing back under control. There is an overall story, though, that goes with Millennium Falcon sm Smuggler's Run. We're going to meet some somebody new that people probably aren't really that familiar with, right? Yeah. So. After Chewbacca gains possession of the Falcon, it needs some repairs, uh, as is the case after <laughs> the most of the films. Um, so he brings it to none other than Hondo Onaka, owner and proprietor of Onaka Transportation Solutions, uh, which is a legitimate business. Um, and he's using the Falcon to run some missions to transport some totally legitimate goods. Of course, it's um, Always legitimate. <laughs> so Hondo, leader of his band of pirates, um, is organizing the missions, and he'll be announcing to guests what they need to do, when to push which button, etc. Over here at the infamous chess table, where I'm sure everybody recognizes this scene from the design. Luke's helmet is right up there. That's his helmet, guys. But what is it like for everybody who hasn't experienced this yet? The first time I stepped inside this room, I started crying. Yeah. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> um, I thought I was prepared, and I've worked on this project, and I still wasn't prepared. Um, stepping out into the land for the first time and seeing the Falcon parked outside, mm. I just started crying. Everything was just tears. Yeah. <laughs> um, I consider myself a Star Wars fan, but not like a mega, mega fan, and I was still crying. Right. It's overwhelming. But when they walk in, they're gonna have to kind of pull those tears back. They got and focus. To take yeah, of, right? there is a very serious mission at hand. Right. So when your crew comes in um, to this room, mm -hmm. it's kind of a new queuing system. Mm -hmm. So you'll be given a color card um, for your party of six, and then when it's your turn, they'll call you by color. So you're free to explore this room this as you like. Room yeah, here. buttons, everything. Buttons galore. Any tips for anybody going in and taking care of uh, the mission at hand when they walk into Millennium Falcon okay, Smuggler's Run? <sighs> Try your best. <laughs> it's harder than it sounds. Um, but all of the ride seats are totally excellent. Each yeah. is a unique experience. Um, and each ride itself is a unique experience because it's so interactive and it's so dependent on how your crew chooses to handle things. Right, right. Yeah. So there you have it. Good luck on your mission when you come down here to Disneyland for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, Millennium Falcon, Smuggler's Run. If you choose to chill out here, just remember, let the Wookiee win.